वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू अटैम्प्ट ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन प्रॉब्लम ऑन ग्रिड शीट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड इट्स फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू इन फर्स्ट एंगल ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन मेथड सो विल सॉल्व और वी विल ड्रॉ दोज टू व्यूज on the grid sheet in this lecture now the very first thing which we should keep in our mind regarding orthographic projection drawing on the grid sheet is related to space management now we know that for this particular object we have to draw two views front view and top view in first angle of projection method so we know in first angle of projection method we first draw reference line we label that line as capital x capital y and we consider space above reference line as vertical plane and we consider space below reference line as horizontal plane and on vertical plane we draw front view of the object and on horizontal plane we draw top view of the object and in the lecture we learned that whenever we have to draw front view front view should have a gap of at least 10 mm or one row gap from the reference line now of course if we have to draw two views we need some space above the reference line and below the reference line and we have to decide that on the paper where we should draw the reference line so that we should be able to draw front view and top view comfortably so if i have to plan space for the front view then i have to look for the height of the object because in the front view height will be visible so in this question height is mentioned as 40 mm so if i leave one row gap and if i start my front view from this row then i need minimum 40 mm space plus if i have to place one or two dimensions at the top then i need 20 mm more so i can say in the height of the object i should at least add 30 mm 10 mm for this gap then 20 mm for any dimensions at the top if you have to place so it means whenever you are solving any problem of orthographic projection make a thumb rule that see the height of that object and in that height add 30 mm and then you should see that do you have that much space above reference line if you have it means your space for the front view is sufficient similarly you will check your space below the reference line for top view and we know in top view we have width dimension so in order to plan the space for top view means below reference line you should see how much is the width of the object in this case width is 40 and again same rule will be applicable that from reference line we have to leave around one row gap 10 mm minimum plus width 40 plus we have to place one or two dimensions also so add 20 mm more so in 40 mm add 30 mm more it means i should have at least 70 mm space below the reference line in order to draw its top view so like like this you should plan the space first before attempting different views of an object so i have drawn reference line somewhere in the mid of the sheet now i have got sufficient space above the reference line and below the reference line so i can easily draw my two views so let us start with the front view we have discussed in the previous lecture how to get the front view so in this lecture only we will discuss about its drawing so let us start with this face so let us start from this point and i have left one row gap and from this point i will start the drawing so we will draw a continuous thick line of 60 mm because length is 60 mm now after that we need we need to draw a line of 40 mm that is the height of the object so we'll line our scale with this end in vertical position cross check whether your scale is vertical or not 
then draw a thick line of 40 millimeters then after that you should see how much length we have to draw towards right it is 20 millimeters so from here we will draw continuous thick line of 20 millimeters then this is 10 millimeters from this point we will draw a line of 10 millimeters continuous thick line then we need to draw a line of 20 millimeters in horizontal position so line your scale carefully it must be in horizontal position then after that we need to draw a vertical line of how much 20 millimeters again so line your scale with this end of the line and cross check whether your scale is vertical or not then draw a thick line of 20 millimeters then this length is again of 20 millimeters so from this end draw a continuous thick line of 20 millimeters then we will join these two points so this is the front view of phase 1 now we will draw front view of phase 2 so for that what we need to do from this point we have to draw a continuous thick line of 20 millimeters this we have learned in the previous lecture when we were working on the solution of this problem now we will join these two points to get phase number 2 so it must be continuous thick now you can see we are ready with the front view of this object now after that what we will do we have to draw projection lines so line your scale with this particular line first and check your scale whether it is in vertical position or not leave one millimeter gap over here and draw a continuous thin line so this is projection line then align your scale with this length and draw a projection line outside the view continuous thin line then align your scale with this length leave one millimeter gap continuous thin line another projection line so from this length as well leave one millimeter gap and continuous thin line so you can see we have drawn continuous thin lines and these are called as projection lines or projectors these must be parallel to each other and perpendicular to the reference line and draw these lines outside the view don't draw within the view otherwise you have to erase those lines later on from the view after that what we'll do we'll start its top view and we have discussed its top view in the last class so over here we'll just draw the drawing so let us plot this face first let us start from this point and in that class we have concluded that this is the projector from where we can start the drawing of this face so let us mark this point on this projector so let me mark this point and from that point we will draw a continuous thick line of how much 40 millimeters so when you will draw a thick line of 40 millimeters it will automatically end up to this projector then this width is how much it is 40 millimeters so from this corner we will draw a thick line of 40 millimeters then we know this is a distance of 20 millimeters so from this line we will draw a line of 20 millimeters which will end up to this particular projector then this is again of 20 millimeters so from here draw a continuous thick line of 20 millimeters again and we know this distance is given to us 20 so from this point draw a continuous thick line of 20 millimeters again then join these two points to get the top view of this face now after that let us plot this face so for this face we will start from this end from here and we'll draw a continuous thick line and then we'll connect these two points to draw that face so after that what we will do we will draw the last face this one let us start from this point and it is of 20 millimeter length which will stop up to this projector then from here 20 millimeter length it will stop up to this projector so let us connect these two points with another continuous thick line now you can see we are ready with the top view of the object so after that what we will do we will erase the extra projectors which are outside the view 
means extended from the top view erase those projectors erase the projectors which are within the view and keep projectors within these two in between these two views but there should not be any projector within the view so this is the final answer as far as projections are concerned now we'll place dimensions so let us first place height dimension so align your scale with this length leave one millimeter gap continuous thin line over here place your scale leave one millimeter gap continuous thin line so how much is the height height is 40 millimeters so leave around 10 millimeters and draw continuous thin line again so add closed filled arrowheads on both sides of this dimension line and write in gothic style 40 okay after that what we will do place its length dimension 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line and we need to place this length also so let us extend this to 20 millimeters so this is around 20 millimeters because we have to draw two dimension lines over here so let us place its total length first so see we have to accommodate two dimension lines so i have left around 20 millimeters so add close field arrowheads on both sides in 3 ratio 1 and over here we will write the value in gothic style so it is 60 Now height is around 5 millimeters. So after that let us place its width. So how much is the total width? Width of the object is given to us as 40 millimeters. So leave around 10 millimeter gap. So continuous thin line, vertical line we have to draw. Add closed field arrowheads on both sides. So make it readable from right side because we are placing dimensions by using aligned system. In Gothic style, we will write 40. After this, place the remaining height dimensions, this height and that height. So 1 millimeter gap, continuous thin line, 1 millimeter gap, continuous thin line. Then around 10 millimeter gap, draw dimension line, continuous thin line. Add closed field arrowheads on both sides of the dimension line. And over here, we will mention the value, it is 10. Now place this dimension, leave 1 millimeter gap, continuous thin line, 1 millimeter gap, continuous thin line, leave 10 millimeter gap, continuous thin dimension line, add closed fill arrowheads on both sides. So now over here we will add 10 in gothic style. So after that what we will do, we will place remaining width dimensions so one millimeter gap continuous thin line and we'll place this dimension so from the view from this point leave one millimeter gap and draw continuous thin line then from this object line leave around 10 millimeter gap draw another continuous thin line so we'll add closed field arrowheads on both sides in 3 ratio 1 and we'll mention this value as 20 in gothic style Okay, so we have placed all the height dimensions, we have placed all the width dimensions, length dimension is also placed, but this length dimension is left. So that we can place over here, 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line, 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line, leave round 10 millimeters gap and draw a dimension line, it must be continuous thin, and on the top of this line we will write its value as 20. So after this what we will do, we are ready with the answer, below the answer we will write in gothic style all dimensions you can write dimensions complete or you can write like this also are in mm then we will underline it 
so this is the final answer to the problem so in this manner we will attempt all the orthographic problems thank you very much